Jane Edwards, Injury Prevention Specialist with the Trauma Program at London Health Sciences Centre. So Injury Prevention Specialists, there's two of us and we work towards implementing and programming for injury prevention within the hospital and working with our partners in the community to try to prevent the injuries that bring children and adults and older adults into the hospital. We'll look at our ED numbers, how many people are coming in with certain injuries. We'll look at our trauma numbers specifically, so the ones that are coming in with severe injuries. We'll look at deaths. We'll also look at things that are happening within the community. So is there a need for a program? Is it not being met by another organization? And so we do target certain groups. Adolescents we know are at risk for injury. 75% of our um, major De deaths in adolescence is because of motor vehicle collisions. So what can we do about preventing those injuries and these teens getting injured in a car? One of our cornerstone programs is IMPACT, which deals with adolescents and the risk-taking behavior that they have and they get to experience what we see as a trauma hospital. One of our major programs that we're working towards is falls prevention in the older adult. So we're knowing that upcoming we're going to have an increased um, number of older adults. The, baby boomers are aging, all of our parents are aging as well, and they're going to be at an increased risk for fall and an injury as well as head injuries and our severe traumas. And we're seeing it more and more that the older adults are coming in severely injured. So what can we do as a trauma center with our community to prevent those injuries from happening? When we see, you know, injuries that are completely preventable, so a child who comes in who's been hit by a car when he's riding his bike and he wasn't wearing a helmet, and we know that if he was wearing a helmet, 85% you know, of those injuries can be prevented just by putting a helmet on their head. When you see people coming in in a car crash and they've been texting and driving, absolutely preventable. And if we get the awareness out there that those are the things that are causing people to come in injured into our hospitals and what we can do as a society, as a community to prevent them, it means all the, all the difference to me. Is, it really is getting that awareness out there, doing programming that matter to our community. It wasn't very difficult to convince me that injury prevention is a very important thing. It wasn't that something that I went to school for injury prevention, but when you see people in our ER hurt because of something that could have been prevented, it really makes good sense to come up on the front end and say, this is the program we're going to implement to try to prevent this from happening in the end. It really wasn't a hard sell to say, if I do this, maybe I can prevent somebody from coming in hurt. And all the devastation that comes from it, not just the injuries and the hospitalizations, but the emotional toll, the impacts on families. And when I talk to people who have been injured and their families, it really affects how I do my job. And I know that you know we can make a difference at Lennon Health Sciences Center.